We are having a field day today on the Yeti. Oh, this guy is terrifying. Good morning guys, Out of Towners TV here. Today we're at Pillar Point Harbor, Half Moon Bay. This is actually the location where the Mavericks happen and uh, right now I see a couple of surfers out there. The water looks pretty flat though. Today I got my poke pole with me, surf casting rod, and a smaller uh, bait caster to throw jigs on. So we're gonna be targeting uh, rockfish, rock crab, monkey face seal, but we'll see. You gotta lock in here. These rocks are pretty slippery and I'm trying to go out further to the point here, so. Well, I think I may have found a good spot. You know, where there's birds at, there's usually fish, so. Sweet, the surf pole I've actually had 15 years now. Just noticed the tip's a little bit bent the wrong angle. Let's see if I can bend this back. Yep, there we go. Got the lazy high-low rig today. Using a five ounce coin sinker, probably overkill for the swell. And doing the quick fasten of these hooks. I'm using the fisherman's knot. I mean, I've never seen this knot come undone. I don't know. Maybe it's breaking because of the knot. I don't really fish with that heavy of a line, but never had a problem with it. But yeah, I should probably learn some other pile knots and stuff like that. And we're gonna be using squid as bait today. I like the way it stays on the hook. In the meantime, since I haven't caught a rockfish yet, technically I can fish with two poles. So uh, I'm gonna be using this jig head with the little swim bait on there that I used to catch the cabas on last week and just be tossing that hopefully I can get lucky. Wow, I just picked up a monster rock crab, definitely above the four inch shell size, and this guy has a fat claw on him. Look at that, holy smokes. Come on, bruh. That's like a seven inch rock crab right there. All right, so this thing goes up to seven inches. Let's see how exactly big this guy is. So I'm not coming up empty handed today, but it looks like this guy might be. Look at that, my thumb for comparison. It's the gauge there, seven inches tip to tip there. That's pretty incredible. Boom, if not, I'll chuck them back and big guy can go out there and have some more little gals. Holy crap, he's grabbing me, I'm getting back in. Oh, this guy is terrifying. He's been a rude boy. I also wanted to switch my bait up so I didn't get any hits on that first one. And I think I want to try and fish right down here in front of the jetty where it's a little bit of a drop off. See if I can pick up any smaller rockfish hanging around. Weedless jig. It's going to use a small weight on it. Bass hook. 
And we're gonna be fishing this red green color of the Berkeley Gold. Uh, it's the last one I got, but let's see if we can hit on that. So I should be able to drop this down in front of the rocks without worrying about snagging too much. Let's see how it goes. With. Yeah, I'm literally fishing just right off the rocks here. This thing will just float down into the cracks. Letting it sing, just not even worrying about it snagging, just fall down into the cracks. It's gonna be really hard to get this guy down out of here. I don't have a net, don't have anything, but yeah, let's try and get him out with all this Pretty good sized cabazon. Let's go, man. This is definitely gonna be a keeper. I can measure him up, but yeah. We are having a field day today on the Yeti. One of my longer cabazons I've caught. Let's just get a measurement on them. So yeah, that's looking like I just fin down. At least 17 inches tail to head there. Let's go. Got some nice blue meat on him too. You can see he ate this Berkeley shad. I really feel like that's the difference making right there. Being able to bounce it on the jetty rocks like that without worrying about snagging and just reel it super slow. It's gonna check the bait on this guy. Feels light, nothing on it. Actually, yeah, technically, now that I have caught a rockfish, I have to switch back to one hole, which is fine because I don't really want to deal with managing that. And we already got a decent amount of success here. I could leave right now and be happy making me a lot of this. So, yeah, I'll fish a little bit longer. Um, try poke pulling a little bit just to get a vibe for it. And yeah, call it a day, head back and cook this guy up. So, I got about a 10 foot pole of scrap PVC from the yard, maybe about six inches of wire on it, six to eight inches wire. Super basic, doesn't need to be any more fancy than that. We'll start poking down into some of these holes. Nice dead jetty bird there. Yeah, I was looking over here earlier and I thought I saw a pretty deep hole around the corner here. Okay, there's a good spot there. And also, yeah, down into that crack there is gonna be nice. All right, GoPros precariously balanced on this rock right here. Let's hope that doesn't fall in. Getting the fish cleaned up and on ice, we cut back across the mountains and across the Bay Bridge 
I decided to make a seafood risotto using the stock from today's catch. Thinking about calling this jetty rice if I ever make it again. A lot of natural, salty, savory flavors coming together here. And we just plated this with some nice white wine. And we lay down our hand seared cabazon on top. Oh hey, you must be my newest subscriber. Look, we hit again. This video is dropping next week, so you better follow for more.